trying to come up with something to tell you. Right. And then I had a dream about you, and you were in a tutu. You were... <laughs> You were in a tutu, and the Tonight Show actually took place on sort of a Concorde, an airplane that went back and forth to the Poconos repeatedly. And I was going to be on the show, and I was very nervous, and then um, I went to the bathroom before the show, and I missed the flight, and I wasn't on the show. Okay, my next guest is one of the top musicians in the country. No, no, wait, that's a fascinating... No, wait, no, wait. Is that the whole dream? Well, the thing was, is that, yeah, that was the entire dream. That was yeah. the whole dream, and I woke up and I was a little confused why I dream about you. Yeah. But then I also drew you a picture. Oh, this is what I would look like? With crayons. Oh, isn't that nice? Apparently that was me in your dream? Mm-hmm. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> so lovely. Lovely. You look pretty. Thanks, thanks. You know, I had a dream about you also, but a little different. Anyway, the... <laughs> Now, what have you been doing? You've been traveling? Have you been going to Europe? You've been, you look very cosmopolitan. You look very... Because right. you were like a kid the first time you were here. Now you've yes. blossomed into woman. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Um, well, I did. I went, to, um, I went to Italy. Okay. And, um, my, um, and it, was, but it was more like a backwoods town of Italy that like, most normal tourists wouldn't visit. Because so it wasn't Rome. You're out in the woods. No, it was, somewhere, it was somewhere strange. It was a bit backwards yeah. there. And then... Um, my boyfriend was trying to make a romantic gesture, right? And buy me a pair of earrings, like diamond earrings. And I tried them on and they were really appealing in the beginning. And uh, they only had one prong when you put them in, like a normal pair of earrings. Right, one, okay. But on the other side, when they came out, it became a torture device or like um, a sadomasochistic ritual of some sort. And what they were is, you couldn't pull it back out. You couldn't pull the earring back out. And then my ears swole up. And then uh, everyone just, you know, started going like, prego, pronto, prego. And then they, the next thing I knew, I was on the way to the hospital in a taxi cab, and the woman and, you know, the proprietor and the taxi driver were just cracking up. Because your ear, was your ear bleeding? No, it was just really swell, right. swelling, and I was really nervous, and we got to the hospital, and everyone's dressed in white like normal people in a hospital would be, but they're all chain-smoking. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all just, like, pointing and laughing, like, hey, hey, you know, and smoking, and then, and then they, uh... And then they, um, and then I was really nervous and I was like, please, someone tell me what's going on here. Right, and then right. they just came at me with a pair of pliers and, and then they just like chopped it right off and just kept on smoking and like having a blast. You didn't happen to eat any wild mushrooms growing out in the woods. Curious. Well. You know, I, I was reading your biography, which. No. <laughs> And it said you grew up in uh, Herman Melville's old house, the, the yes. author, the Moby, Moby Dick. Dick. Moby Dick. Moby Dick. Moby yeah. Dick. You, you actually lived in his house. Mm-hmm. We lived in his, his, his house. When he wasn't there anymore. Though. No, he'd been gone. Yeah, no, he had <laughs> yeah. some problem with the rent. He had moved on. Yeah, yeah I guess yeah. so. <laughs> yes. And what was that? Were, they, were there ghosts in the house? Was there... Well, there were exploding animals in the backyard. Okay, let's back up right there. Now, okay, here's... I have a joke for you. You have a joke? Wait, I want to know about the exploding animals. Oh, jeez. Well, they, you know, I guess we overfed some sheep. I wasn't born yet. This is just, you know, this is just what my parents told me. Your memory touches get sketchy when you haven't been born yeah. yet. Yeah. yeah, I also think I'm developing premature arthritis, actually. Why? I don't know. It just feels funny. Whenever I wake up on an airplane, my hands are really numb. But that's besides the point. I have a okay, joke for you. Know, you. It is. Okay. Okay. I have a joke it is for you. Besides the point. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So look. Okay. Okay. So look. There's three ladies in my hand, Jay. There are three ladies in your hand. Yes, okay. Yes, there are. She's blonde. Mm -hmm. She's a brunette, and she's a redhead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I want you to pick up the blonde. Uh, okay. All right. Put her by the side of your face. All right. Does that feel like the first time you made love? Uh, no. Okay. Put her back. Put her back. Uh, okay. Pick up the brunette. Uh, all right. Put it there. Does that feel like the first time you did it? Uh, uh, no, no. Put her back, too. Oh, okay. Put her... Ooh, now pick up the redhead. Uh -huh. Redhead. She's a redhead. She's hot. All right. Put Does right. it do it for you? No. no. Not like the first time you had sex. Put no. her back. Okay. Okay, now pick them all up. Shake them up. Does that feel... Oh. <laughs> You mentioned it, it does kind of, yeah. <laughs>
Well, oh, folks, the movie is, but I'm a cheerleader. And it's in theaters right now. You're delightful. Come see us anytime you want. Thank Natasha you Natasha Leo, thank you, sweetheart. Be right back with Don Henley right after this.